Right now I'm here on behalf of uh, this project called Blue Science. Uh, it's uh, a production of Project Camelot. My own background is in math and physics. I'm, my name's Matt Pulver, uh, by the way. Um, I studied math, uh, math and physics at UCLA. Um, generally, I guess, motivated by philosophy, just wanting to understand the, the fundamental nature of the universe. My particular angle in this is is the new physics. I mean, I, I didn't go to graduate school. I took a number of graduate courses, but to me, this is the graduate school now. I, I, I want to find what is the new physics. I don't, I'm not beholden to um, the current laws of physics, even though I understand it and I can speak that language. So I'm, insofar as these technologies are concerned, I'm searching for the new physics. And, uh, you know, I do believe it's out there. The problem is that uh, what people have a difficult time grasping is they're used to the normal technologies, which are really what we call random technology, because if you look at it at the quantum level, it's this uh, random energy is at work there, whereas the SEG is coherent. My understanding is that, and correct me if I'm wrong, that a working SEG, it essentially cools its environment and there's no um, net heat. It, it, there's actually a net cooling on, on, on the system. So, Well, the heat yeah. is the source of energy. Okay. That's why there's a cooling. So think of a heat as a frequency. It, it has its, its spectrum, okay? And here's the SEG, its own operating frequency. Specifically, we're interested in the this area where the rollers experience the currents. So we're going to be, this is actually the, uh, the section of area of interest. The SEG theory of operation is a currents reading out, and the energy cycle is such that the photonic electrons eventually return back to the center. If there's an energy cycle involved, it is not a closed system. So we're going to head, go ahead and put some current through this uh, coil, or this, this wire, and show you why the rollers will move. And it sure does. So what happened here... Yeah, direct current going through here, and it was the mag magnetic and, field and, from these that And, that and the field move? interaction right here, okay. where the rollers will experience those currents, cause electromotive forces to to move the whole assembly. So what's the exact source of the magnetic field? Is it is it in these rollers, or is it? It's it's in these uh, this permanent magnetic material right here. So, so that that would this would conceivably work if you took everything off here except for this except for this ring right here. Yeah. Okay. It's just that we're interested in that section of area right here where the rollers are, and now we know that the rollers will rotate because the sign is is valid. There is an eddy current interaction between the rollers and the surface. I've isolated. That part of it with, with this demonstration. Not only do the rollers float around, but they're also rotating. So here's another roller that's been modified. You can see, without touching the surface, it rotates. You can feel what you see. So we see the connection between the magnetization and the physical manifestation of the rollers. I'm sure that it's almost like there's magnetic gears. Is that, is that a fair analogy? Yeah. We've taken a step further, yes. There is a magnetic gear effect both on the Saturn and the rollers, which we call rollers. Right. So about the Hall effect, this, the idea of this buildup of voltage. Uh, are you, you going to talk about that? There is a Hall effect. The magnetic flux here, along the surfaces of the magnetic, of the material boundaries or layers, and the electric resistor. That's correct for a hull effect. The hull effect occurs within the cylinders, right, as opposed to the main cylinder? Um, uh, in here, as well as on, in the stator, stator, as well as the rollers. It's just that the most of the uh, electrical press are from the, the stator itself. 
so th that's, I mean, how, how critical is that? I mean, that, that's definitely one of the, the links in, in the chain for, for this to work, right? Absolutely. Uh, is, it, is it fair to say that the hall of, the combined hall effect of all the, the three rings plus all the um, rotors effectively replaces the, the power input that you're using here? Yes. I think this is something that could be explained. Uh, we, we don't necessarily need uh, Laviolette's physics to explain this. Um, there may even be new physics. There's some kind of a toroidal field uh, that's common to, to most, if not all of, all of these devices. And this seems like it might, and I'm just speculating here, um, that this might be some kind of ordering principle. And I could hear from my academic background, like who, who cares about uh, this person's speculations on these things? There seems to be this um, trail of clues that Cyril has left behind. And you know, as, as you've shared with me, that, that we, you know, these, they seem to have, have been um, borne out. Uh, so he's not making the story up. I mean, we, we you know, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming from the, from the direction of, uh, you know, is this possible? Yes. How does this work? Well, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm looking for.